Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC without using Entity Framework how to consume the web API. And here we got the final output, the header tags, horizontal line, and the table, EMP table is binded. We have implemented to consume web API in MVC without using Entity Framework that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in web api first we'll check the table and the column names the table is a emp table which contains four columns emp id emp name email and salary now let's write the coding part for this video tutorial i'm creating a new web api application go to file new project and from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Consume Web API Without Entity Framework. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Now, the first in this project, I'm adding my data source, the connection string, in the web.config file. Let's open Server Explorer. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database name is a new DB. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the new DB. DB is added under data connections. We require this data source of this new DB. Right click the mouse, go to properties, and notice in the properties that there is a connection string which contains a data source. Just copy that whole part. Open Solution Explorer. Now in the project at the bottom, there is a web.config file. Open that one. Now let's add the connection string. There is a already connection string which is a default one. Let's add our new connection string. Add name is equals to the connection string name is my connection connection string. I'm pasting the data source which I have copied. The last one is a provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, now open Solution Explorer. Now in this models folder, I'm adding a new class to create the public properties. Right click the models folder, add class. Let's give a meaningful name to the class EMP class. And here we got our EMP class. Now in this EMP class, I'm just defining the public properties. Public int. In our table, we have four columns: EMP ID, EMP name, email, and salary. Let's add four properties. First one is the EMP ID. Get set. Public string. EMP name, get set, public string, email, get set, public int, the last one is a salary, get set. After adding the properties, now open Solution Explorer. Now I'm adding the API controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers add 
select the controller I'm selecting web API 2 controller empty and let's give the API controller name EMP is my API controller name and and here we got our API controller which is the EMP first in this API controller I'm adding the namespace using consume web api the project name dot models after that i want to retrieve the data from the database so i'm using the namespace of sql server using system dot data dot sql client using system dot data and the last namespace i'm adding using system dot configuration after adding the necessary namespaces now in the api controller i'm adding public i http action result get emp is a method now in this method i'm adding the list the list class the type of element in the list is my class name which is a emp class Let's create an object ec is equals to new list emp class. After that, let's write the functionality to fetch the records from the database. String SQL main con is an object is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Now between double quotes, I'm adding my connection string name which is a my connection just copy that one and add between the double quotes dot connection string after that sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection and this sql connection i'm adding main con after that let's add the sql query is equals to select start from I'm adding the table name. The table name is a dbo.emp table. Let's add that one. SQL command. SQL comes an object new SQL command. And this SQL command takes two parameters. The first one is the SQL query, the command text, comma. The second parameter is the SQL connection object, which is this one, SQL con. Semicolon. Now let's read the data. SQL data reader. Let's create an object as GR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method. Now I'm using while loop to read the data. While sdr dot read method I'm adding the object ec dot add the add method new emp class let's add the properties emp id is equals to sdr the sql data reader object dot get value the zero the item position semicolon and here we got an error cannot implicitly convert type object to int so let's convert the typecast convert dot to int 32 let's add comma here emp name is equals to sgr dot get value which is one dot two string method the emp name is a string so i have added the two string method comma email is equals to sgr dot get value the item position is three dot two string method comma and the last one is a salary is equals to sgr dot get value for the salary is the integer type 
so let's add convert dot to in 32 semicolon the friends here the get value is 2 and this one is a 3 in the last step return ok method now ok I am adding this object to this copy this one and paste here friends we have to open here the SQL connection SQL con dot open method that's it we have written the coding part to fetch the employee details from this EMP table in the EMP controller which is the API controller now we require the URL of this web API so let's Google Chrome and here we got the output of the project the home page now we require the web API of the project after the domain name I'm adding API forward slash let's add the project name which is the EMP copy this one and paste it let's enter and here we got the output of that web API which is in an XML file format now let's consume this web API in MVC switch to the programming part stop debugging open solution explorer now in the same controllers folder I click the controllers add controller and this time I am selecting MVC file controller empty add the controller name is EMP display add and here we got our MVC controller now in this controller, first let's add the namespace consume web API the project name dot models. Now in this action result index, I'm adding i enumerable the i number the out t type. I'm adding emp class. Let's create an object is is equals to now. To consume the web API. I'm using HTTP client class, so we require the namespace using system dot net dot HTTP class. Now we can access HTTP client class. It is an object is equals to new HTTP client. Hc dot the base address is a property is equals to new URI. This URI method takes a property string URI string. So string is a double quotes. Let's add the web API address. Add that one. Semicolon. After we got the web API URL, now let's consume the web API variable consume data is equals to hc dot get as a sync. Begin double quotes. The string request URI. I am requesting this URI EMP. I don't require here EMP. The controller name semicolon. Consume data dot wait method. So after consume the data, I want to display the results variable data read is equals to consume data dot result if data read dot is success status code if the data is succeeded to fetch the records I'm declaring a variable a results is equals to data read dot content dot read as a sync I'm adding I list in this I list I'm adding the class name EMP class
results dot wait now the final step let's display records the object is ec is equals to results dot result and the return view the object ec that's it we have consumed the web api in this mvc controller now to display records we require the view page of this action result index before adding the view page to this project first we must build the application build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box now select the action result index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index the template empty I'm selecting the list template the model class I'm adding my EMP class this one and the data context class I don't require to add click add. and here we got our index view page now let's change the title of this index view consume web api without using entity framework Let, let's add the center tags i'm closing this center tag after the after the table and i am deleting this action links from the table I don't require that edit, display, and delete. And also, I'm deleting the create action link. Let's change the header. I'm adding h1 consume web API in MVC without using entity framework. H2 MVC web. API tutorials after that I'm adding horizontal line that's it we have done the complete coding part now before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name open solution explorer In the project there is a app underscore start folder expand that one route config.cs file open that one and notice here the controller is the home which is a default one let's delete that home controller and our controller name is EMP display controller let's add that one copy and paste it here and the view page the action result is the index only which is this one that's it we have done the complete coding part we have saved the connection string in the web.config file we got the EMP class, the API controller, MVC controller, and the index view page. Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. The header tags, horizontal line, and the table, EMP table is binded. We have implemented to consume web API in MVC without using entity framework. That's it.